Hey guys, Chris here with Living Vegan, and today's topic I'll be discussing milk, or as I like to call it, bovine secretions. Um, let's start at the very beginning. Milk, which as all we, we all know comes from cows, it's uh, produced after a pretty uh, painstaking event. Cows are usually artificially inseminated. Once they give birth, they are stripped away from their calf. Both the calf and mother go through quite a bit of mourning, which releases a lot of hormones into the milk. The uh, cow at that point is put on a factory line where they are made to produce milk over and over again to where they keep uh, artificially inseminating them to stimulate production. They are milked for usually one to two years, maybe longer, if they can keep up production. Once they're done at that point, they are sent to slaughter. Uh, during production, they develop lots of sores on their, uh, on their teeth. They... Uh, develop infections, have a lot of pus development, and that gets transferred into the milk we drink, or some people drink. Uh, some of the things you have to worry about also is what they're eating. They're not eating the grass-fed diet like they used to eat, you know, to where they would get some good omegas, lots of healthy fats, uh, some vitamins and minerals such as B12. Now they're fed grains, corn, soy, which isn't their normal diet. So a lot of those things are being having to add into the milk after the fact. Um, milk, it does uh, have some negative effects on the body. It does promote cancer more than most uh, non-dairy milks. Also promotes coronary artery disease with its high cholesterol and fat content. It also uh, leaches calcium from the bones. I know most people think, oh, I'm going to drink my milk to get my calcium. That's actually not the case. The calcium, uh, uh, once the milk's in the body, it uh, becomes acidic in the blood. The, the body has to remove calcium from the bones to bring that back to an alkaline state. Also, uh, there's lots of uh, hormones in milk, as I've said. Also, antibiotics, dairy, uh, the agriculture industry, dairy, meat, etc., uh, chicken, all. All of those use more antibiotics than we humans use. They use about 76, 75, 76 percent of all antibiotics used go to animals. Uh, there's a great uh, letter. It's called not on notmilk.org. It's the uh, famous milk letter. Very, very well written, easy to read. Gives you a lot of great information on milk. I would highly recommend anybody read that. And I'll put a link down below to that in the comments. I mean, in the uh, description. So I would definitely check that out if you have not read that. Um, another reason we, we shouldn't drink milk is we are the only uh, animal known that drinks milk after being weaned. All other animals, they wean, they're done. They don't go back to drinking milk. Also, cow's milk is made for baby cows to make them grow fast and big. A lot of protein, a lot of fat, so they will grow so fast. Our bodies aren't made for that. We don't. If you'll compare the fat content and the protein content in cow's milk versus mother, a human mother's milk, you'll see that they're way off. Definitely not something that's uh, recommended. Anyway, this is my rant on milk. Any questions, comments, like I say, leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer those. And anyway, uh, just remember, carbs make us happy.